Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter which sport you are betting on. So, we're finishing the Major League Baseball regular season, as hard as it is to believe, but yes, we're at the final week, and there are still many uh, questions remaining as far as playoff positioning. Top game of the week, or the series, I should say, would be the Cleveland Indians and the Washington Nationals, but we have several other ones to take a look at. So, if we go to the uh, VIP club section here, you can join this and use all these tools to help with your predictions. So we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of these matchups. So as we scroll down through here, we take a look at the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago White Sox first. Now these are two teams that are going nowhere, but in a way it's an interesting matchup because the Tigers are trying to avoid the ultimate embarrassment by not even winning 50 games. So they need to uh, take a few, or at least one probably, against the White Sox to avoid that. And the White Sox currently have 68 wins so they're trying to get the 70 win plateau so if you take a look at the matchup here you see the tigers are ice cold down the white Sox are ice cold up the tigers here have lost five out of their last six the white Sox have won three out of their last six if you look at the power rankings indicator you will see here not surprisingly i mean the white Sox are decent at plus 13 they're actually on their way up and of course, the Tigers all the way down at the bottom here at zero. Scroll down through here again. Now take a look at the totals predictor. If you're considering the over and under in games in this series, you can see that Detroit is trending in games well under. Chicago is trending in games over. So the, probably the best thing to do is not to bet the over or under since they are on opposite sides of the line. Let's take a look at the uh, volatility oscillator. See how stable the two teams are. And you will see that Detroit is a much more stable team than Chicago, which means that they are consistently or more consistently uh, playing according to their favorite underdog status. And most of the time they are underdogs. And with their record, you can see why they have such high stability then. The starting pitchers for this series, we have uh, for the Tigers, Matthew Boyd, Spencer Turnbull. There are two of the three scheduled starters for a team that is 27th in the league in ERA at 5.26. The White Sox have Renato Lopez, Hector Santiago, and Ross Detweiler, and they are 22nd in ERA at 4.85. There's very little to indicate that uh, the White Sox have enough ability to sweep the Tigers, despite how bad the Tigers are. The White Sox aren't great either, but the White Sox should win two out of three in this series. The lone win for the Tigers could be enough, though, to put them to the 50-win plateau. So now we're going to get to some games that are more impactful for the playoffs. Scroll down through here. Cleveland at Washington. Cleveland second in the uh, excuse me in the AL Central. In a good position yet for a wild card spot. Washington is in the same position in the National League, second in the NL East. Again, fighting for a wild card spot. You can see the Indians right now are burning hot. They have won five out of their last six games, coming off a 10-1 victory over Philadelphia. Washington ice cold down. They are four and two over their last six. If we look at the power rankings indicator, you see that both teams are trending downward here a bit, so, but Cleveland does have a plus 23, plus 19 edge in the power rankings indicator. Take a look at the totals predictor, betting the over or under. Well, let's take a look if that's wise. You see that Cleveland is playing in games trending under. Washington is playing in games trending under as well. So that's a good indication to bet under in games in this series. Let's see how stable the two teams have been. Let's see with the stability, both are on the upward climb on, in that category. Cleveland at plus 35, Washington at plus 29. So they are performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status. If we look at the pitching matchups for this series, Zach Prisak, Adam Putko, and Mike Clevenger are going for Cleveland. They have a team ERA of 3.64 second in the major leagues. Very impressive. Washington is going to go with Austin Voth. Patrick Corbett and Max Scherzer to finish out the season. They are 14th in the league at 4.32. Cleveland has a better overall team. They have stronger pitching. I see them winning two out of three in this series with Washington winning the season finale with Scherzer on the mound. Go down through here to another matchup. And you can see there's some good matchups here, but there's a few that I want to focus on. Uh, here we go. We got Milwaukee and Colorado. The reason I'm looking at this one is because Milwaukee still has a, a pretty good chance at making the playoffs. 
They're average at the moment, and they have won, though, their last four and five out of their last six. The Rockies also are average stats. They have lost four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will notice that Milwaukee is at plus 20. Colorado is at plus seven. A big edge there for Milwaukee. Considering the over and under, well, again, let's take a look. Milwaukee is playing in games trending a little bit under. Colorado with the red line above the blue line, you see, is playing in games trending over. So because they're on opposite sides of the line, I tend to avoid betting the over under in those situations. You look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams at the moment? Well, Colorado is extremely stable at plus 37. And as been much of the case this season, Milwaukee has been unstable. So do not take too much into consideration what their favorite underdog status is because they're not very reliable according to uh, performing as that is. So if you look at the pitching matchups, Zach Davies, Brandon Woodruff, Adrian Hauser go for Milwaukee, who is 16th in the league in ERA at 4.43. Chichi Gonzalez, Antonio Senzatella, and Jeff Hoffman for the Rockies, who are next to last in Team ERA at 5.64. That's going to hurt them in games in this series with Milwaukee's offense. Milwaukee will win this series two games to one. They could possibly even sweep the Rockies, who are last place and probably looking forward to the offseason. That's going to put Milwaukee in good position for the playoffs. We're going to go down through here at another matchup here that I want to take a look at. San Diego and Arizona. San Diego, near the bottom in the um, NL West, facing Arizona second in the NL West. Arizona is playing to try to finish above 500 for the season. San Diego is likely looking forward to the offseason. Uh, San Diego is dead up at the moment. They have not won. Well, they did. They've won two out of their last six. Arizona is three and three over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator. You can see steady for San Diego, but down here low at plus five. Arizona, a slight dip from plus 17 to plus 15 over the last day. Setting the over under. Well, let's see. Under for San Diego slightly and Arizona slightly over so that's probably a wash so I would consider not betting over under in games in this series. We take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams? How consistently are they performing? Well San Diego is more consistent than they had been. They're at plus 13. Arizona is slightly consistent at plus six but take it with a grain of salt what the favorite underdog status is particularly with Arizona. The pitching matchups if we look at San Diego, Eric Lauer, Cal Quantrill, Garrett Richards are scheduled to start for San Diego, who comes in with a 4.61 ERA, 18th in the league. Um, Arizona's pitching is a little bit better, 12th in the league at 4.30, and they have Luke Weaver, Robbie Ray, and Alex Young on the mound. Arizona should win this series playing at home with the better overall team, and I predict two out of three for them in this series. We're going to take a look at one final Matchup here, you got the Oakland A's and the Seattle Mariners. Oakland here is average at the moment. They have one four of their six, coming off an eight to three loss to Texas. Seattle is also average at the moment. They are have one four of their last six. They're in last place, but they have one four of their last six there. So they are playing better ball as the season is coming to a close. Oakland is in very good position for playoffs. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that this is that this is kind of the case here when you see that Oakland is up here at plus 29, one of the highest in the league in the power record indicator. Seattle has been steady over the last couple of days after a drop off there at plus eight. And let's take a look here at the totals predictor. Again, this is if you are considering the over and under, take a look at the totals predictor. Oakland playing in games trending under, Seattle playing in games trending over. Again, which is much of the case in these predictions for this week. It's kind of a wash, so did not really go too much for the over-under in these games. How stable are the two teams? Let's take a look at that again. Both teams are pretty stable. Uh, plus 29 for uh, Seattle, plus 21 for Oakland. So they're pretty much performing according to their favorite underdog status. So take a look at that and put that into consideration before making your bets for these games. On the mound for Oakland is... Sean Manea, Tanner Roark, and Homer Bailey, 7th in the league in ERA at 
Seattle is 24th in the league in the ERA at 5.09. They have Justice Sheffield, Marco Gonzalez, and Justin Dunn scheduled to pitch. It's hard to see Seattle doing much, even though they're at home. The season's over for them. They have nothing to play for, really. Oakland is still striving for the postseason. They will win two and possibly even sweep the games in this series. So before we conclude here, I want you to take a look here. We have a new 10-day challenge here by Kevin. You can see it here, the 10-day challenge. So please just take a look at that. and You can follow him and all the other experts in the VIP Club section. So if you're not already a member of the VIP Club section, please go ahead and join. You can see here the new 10-day challenge from $50 to $2,883.25. So take a look at that at your convenience. So there you have it for this week's picks. Uh, be sure to come back next week. We will have some playoff picks for you. And enjoy the week, and happy betting. See you next time.